Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Heinz. I'm the Medical Director for Houston Injury Solutions Network. This is Dr. Paul Raymond, and he's going to tell you a little bit about himself. I practice at the Injury Center of Houston, located on Song 59 and the Beltway, and we're here today to talk about epidural steroid injections. Okay. So, Dr. Raymond, one of the questions that we hear in our office is why would a chiropractor who's typically known for being conservative want to refer a patient for an epidural steroid injection? Well, Dr. Heinz, uh, when we exhaust conservative care, meaning chiropractic treatment, physical medicine, anti-inflammatories, supplements, and the symptoms just aren't going away, the patient still has numbness and tingling in their arm or leg, now we need to refer for the next level. So typically, is, you know, I've heard that epidural injections only last a short period of time. So is there a difference between getting an epidural with all those other treatments and getting one without? Absolutely. You want to try and hit the injury from all sides. And so it's always important to use all the tools in order to try and treat that inflammation with anti-inflammatory supplements, medications, acupuncture, and the epidural steroid injection. So are, in your office, do you use the epidural as the treatment itself, or is it sometimes create the window for you to do some of this other stuff when the patient's pain level is too high to do it? That's a really good question. We use the epidural steroid injection to create that window to get rid of the inflammation, get rid of the pain, allowing the patient to exercise and strengthen and stabilize the area that has been traumatized. So, if a patient's going for an epidural, can you explain a little bit about what that procedure looks like and what they can expect on the day of their actual procedure? Sure. The epidural steroid injections are performed usually at an outpatient surgery center for utmost safety. They're going to put the patient on a gurney. They're, they're going to roll them into the OR. They're going to be consciously sedated with what we call twilight sedation because it's very important for the patient and the practitioner to be able to speak to one another, yet be comfortable at the same time. The epidural injection is done with a, a blunt force needle that will go into the epidural space and release the medication. The needle is guided using a fluoroscope, which is a real-time x-ray, so we can make sure that this injection is going where it needs to go. Wow. So one of the other questions that my patients ask me, and you may have a better explanation for this, is are there any real differences between an epidural that occurs during pregnancy and one that occurs in a pain setting? The epidural during pregnancy is given as a saddle block from a certain level on the low back and down so the person doesn't feel any pain from that level down. The epidural steroid injection that's given for spinal trauma is very localized and only for one area, and it's to decrease inflammation, not just to block pain. So would it be fair to say that it's a little bit more precise? Absolutely more precise, and that's what they use the fluoroscope for. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. If you have any other questions about epidural injections, uh, feel free to consult some of the other videos on our website. Thank you.